occult emanations coming from this god killer are unlike anything I have ever encountered. When I gripped it, I saw a face. The face of Cathan. Mm, yes, I suspected as much. The darkness I sense here is beyond the realm of mortals. It's no surprise Red Skull was seeking that level of power. This is more than just an artifact. But whatever it is could represent a change in the direction of our battle against Lilith. The best way to understand power is to wield it. It is called God Killer for a reason. And what if that power consumes you and turns you against us? What if this thing was really a trap designed to ensnare the power mad and foolish? I do not know. Hmm. And we cannot take that chance. I think the safest option is to keep it here in the forge for a bit longer. At least until I've had a chance to study it more. I don't think anyone should handle it until we know what it is for sure. Very well. And how long do you think that will take? Well, I think the world will be ending soon, so... Hopefully before that. I need to consult my grimoires. Check back with me when you can. I never expected the Red Skull would trouble me again. Yet here we are. When I woke up this morning, the Red Skull was the furthest thing from my mind. Yet now it seems he's a key player. Even from beyond the grave. In my experience, the grave is but a way station, not a destination. Every time I think I've got my mind wrapped around this conflict, I get thrown a curveball. Finding that artifact beneath Mount Wondagore destabilized me as well. Here's hoping Strange can figure out what exactly this god killer is. If the Red Skull had it, then it's nothing good, I'm sure. Earlier, you mentioned the Red Skull was drawn to the occult? Like a fly to a rotting carcass. How much do you know about World War II? I did not realize there was a World War I. I'll just sum it up. Red Skull was a man whose ambition knew no limits. And when our world didn't give him enough, he looked beyond it for even more power. A very dangerous man indeed. And we're all safer that he's no longer among the living. Safety is an illusion. Just because none of us have died does not mean it will not happen in the next couple of minutes. It's amazing you can sleep through the night with an attitude like that. I see safety as a default state. Yes, it's fragile, occasionally threatened by the forces of darkness, but with a little luck and determination, they can always be beaten back. I wish I could share your optimism. It's the only thing that got me through my battles with Red Skull and others. I wonder how the Red Skull came to share my mother's obsession with Cathan, anyway. Oh, I'm sure he tried to find your mother to help him. All part of his Project Gutmorder. My mother never would have allowed him to share her power. Well, I don't think he got that blade just to put it under glass, if you know what I mean. He planned to use it all right. Now we just need to figure out why Crossbones wanted me to have it. Whatever the Red Skull wanted with that weapon, it wasn't good. What's troubling you, Sarah? The... What is this about the God Killer? The hilt? It looks a lot like the metal your collar is forged from. Or a calcum? How can that be? I'm not sure it is. It's just a hunch. Strange should examine it. See if my hunch is right. Because if it is, the God Killer might be our best shot at taking my sister's life, putting an end to all this madness. Is that not what we all want? An end to this? There's only 2.5 members of the blood left in all creation, Hunter. If we, when we defeat her, my only sister will be dead and our kind will be nearly extinct. If that is the price of peace, so be it. I know, but still, she is my sister. And my mother. 
We must not have any reservations about what we are about to do. <sighs> I raised you well. You raised me to be a weapon. I raised you to be who you are, to serve your purpose, and I'm proud of you for fully embracing it. I appreciate that, Sarah. <sighs> Perhaps we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves too much. We're not even sure the handle of that blade is made of orichalcum. Strange will find out. Make sure he does. I've squared off against Hulk a lot of times over the years. None of them were pretty. Dr. Banner used to be the upside to the Hulk. Did I ever tell you about the time the Hulk tore me in half? This sounds like a story I cannot pass up. I was in the path of a Category 5 Hulk smash storm. Big Green pulled me apart like it was wing night at his favorite pub, and I was the chicken. Well, that sounds absolutely horrible. Then Hulk threw my legs four miles away from the rest of me. What? Up a snow-covered mountain. Had to claw my way to him. How did you survive? That lovely, forceful bisection put my healing factor to the test. Had to find my legs by their scent. My scent, if you catch my drift. As long as Lilith controls the Hulk, we are at a disadvantage. Yep, and we're sorely lacking in the Hulk killer department. I volunteer you, Wolverine. We all know what's gonna happen, Hunter. Doesn't mean I gotta be eager about it. Well, no matter what, we are sorely lacking in the Hulk killer department. Anytime someone wants my opinion, it means we're really screwed. Remind me not to brainstorm with you anymore. Makes sense. I'm more of a claws out kind of guy. Anyway, glad you enjoyed our little Hulk survivors group. We'll meet again if we survive him next time. After seeing Banner's soul twisted under Lilith's control, I see why Bruce used to doubt himself so much. He mistrusts the green brute because deep inside, Banner doesn't trust himself. Another thing he and I have in common. There is still hope for Banner. Yes, there is always hope. But do you think it's possible I'll ever see Bruce Banner in the same way ever again? You know that was not Banner, right? Same as it was not you, Wanda Maximoff, who devastated the Sanctum Sanctorum? Point taken, Hunter. I owe Bruce the same kindness I've been shown here at the Abbey. I do believe I can forgive him. Forgetting, however. You are not alone, Wanda. When the time comes, we will face your demons, our demons, together. Thank you. Hunter, that gives me some strength. Show no mercy.
This is a serious predicament for you. Your actions have to be... or what? more help. for it. 
are so adorable thinking you can beat us. Here you go. Not much has changed among the world's fanatics. Whatever works! They cannot possibly match your strength. seems to be working so far. Leave some for the rest of us. Too weak for this fight. We've done it. Excellent work. <laughs> 